Hey, this is Ryan from GMB Fitness. We've been teaching bodyweight exercises and mechanics for a long time. And we've always emphasized the importance of having a good long-term training program that's gonna help you to reach your goals. The most important thing that's gonna help keep you moving towards your goals is consistency. Keep working on something every day and over time you'll get it. But what happens in your life when you get busy and you're not able to do your training program for maybe a day or a week? Well, what typically happens is that people throw in the towel and give up. Rather than giving up, today I'm gonna to show you how you can build a quick workout when you're short on time. Now, the specific exercises that you're going to be using, of course, are dependent upon your current goals. But I am going to give you an example to work off of. Even if you can't do your regular workout, doing something quick and simple will help you to stay consistent and that will help you to continue to work towards your goals. All right, for the first example, let's say that you're working towards the inverted press. Now, the first step would be to prepare. When we prepare, what we're doing is we're making sure that we're setting ourselves up for that workout. And in this case, when we're looking at the inverted press, there are two things that we want to do. We want to get in a little bit of wrist mobility as well as work on stretching our chest. That is prepare. All right, so the second step is practice. Now, practice should be the bulk of your workout. To me, this is kind of the most important part. This is where you're going to take that skill, in this case, the inverted press, and you're going to look at where your highest level of that skill is, and you're gonna spend time practicing at that level. Now, with that being said though, of course, during the practice portion, it is perfectly fine when you work at that highest level, you start to get tired, you wanna focus on proper form so you can go down one level or two levels, but continue to work on practicing that movement. The third step in this formula would be push. Now, push is exactly what it says is you push yourself a bit harder than you did during the practice. In order to do that though, what you'll want to do is take that skill that you were practicing in the practice session, bring it down another couple levels. What this does is it allows you to further condition yourself and hit it a bit harder while you can focus on the form. This is going to help you for next time when you come back to practice that skill and you'll find that you'll be even better at it. The final step in this simple little formula for your body weight exercise is ponder. Ponder is where you take a minute or two to sit down and reflect on how that session went. In other words, you don't just finish up your push and then go off and do something else. It's really important to step back, look at what went well, what maybe you could have done better, and what you need to do for the next session. I'd like to give you another example. In this case, we're gonna look at the shrimp squat. So remember, our first step would be to prepare. In this case, we're gonna look at two movements. We're gonna use the kneeling lunge and hip circles. And remember, this is to prepare our body to do the work that's coming up. All right, step number two is practice. Remember, this is where the bulk of your session should be. And in this case, let's say that for your shrimp squat, that you're able to perform a shrimp squat by holding on to your foot and squatting halfway down. That's great, okay? Spend time on that. Make each attempt count. So it's not a matter of performing tons and tons and tons and tons of repetitions back to back, okay? Change the way that you look at a repetition. Look at doing one repetition as beautifully as possible and then do another. Once your form starts to break down, then what you do is you want to take that movement and go down a level and then you can continue to make that repetition as beautiful as possible. Step number three is our push. Now remember this is where you can really push yourself. So you're going to take that shrimp squat and you're going to go down one level. This time around what you could do to go down one level is to let go of your foot. Let the foot float and try and go down as far as you can while keeping balance and making it beautiful. That's your push. Last but not least, ponder. Now remember, ponder is where you're gonna take a minute or two to reflect on your workout. Now in this case, because you're doing shrimp squat, maybe 
You could think about your balance. How is your right leg compared to your left leg? Did you need assistance? For example, when you're doing it, did you need to put your arm on something in order to help you with that balance? So two ideas of balance there. One, can you even stay upright without assistance? The other is, how is your right side compared to your left side? Just something to think about. There you have it. The very simple formula that you can use when you're short on time, but you really need to get in your workout. It's a lot of us out there, right? Now, by the way, you can use this formula for any skill or goal that you may have. So don't give up on your goals if you have to miss a few of your regular workouts. Just keep it short and sweet so that you can stay consistent.